Hello everyone, this is Kathy from House of TOEFL and today we're going to do a short lecture to teach you some vocabulary skills and hopefully sharpen your listening skills at the same time. We are going to use lichens as our lecture topic today. I'm out here in a wilderness preserve in California and you can see a beautiful pattern of green and white on this tree. These are lichens which are the subject of today's short listening for the TOEFL. And the vocabulary I would like you to learn are the following words. Native, indigenous, diversity, habitat, climate, tundra, tropical, bizarre, complex, symbiotic, and dominant. Now, if you didn't catch those, don't worry. I will put them in the description of this video. So just click below and you will see the words. You can add them to your vocabulary journal. So here we go. All about lichens. There are approximately 3,600 species of lichens that are native to North America and indigenous to the Western United States. And those are just the ones that we know about. New discoveries are made every year. Lichens are found all across North America and the world. They are found in a vast diversity of habitats and climates, from the desert to the Colorado National Forest to the alpine tundra of the Alaskan mountains, all the way to the tropical rainforests of Puerto Rico. So you've probably seen lichens and not know, known what they are. Not many people do. They look like they are perhaps a form of moss, but they actually are not. Lichens are bizarre organisms, and no two are alike. Lichens have a complex symbiotic partnership with two separate organisms, a fungus and an algae. The dominant partner is the fungus, which gives the lichen the majority of its characteristics, from its shape to the fruiting bodies. The algae can be seen as either a light green or a blue green, or as we see here, there's actually some white. Many lichens have both types of algae. Okay, so that ends our short lecture about lichens. Hopefully you learned a few new words. Let me get a little bit closer to the lichens here, get you a better look. They're actually quite beautiful when you get up close. They're very aesthetically pleasing. That's another word I'll add, aesthetically pleasing. All right, that ends our short lecture. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to make more nature videos because I love nature and science. I love learning about science and teaching you guys about nature. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I'll be making uh, a lot more of these in the future. Thank you so much for watching. This is Kathy from House of TOEFL.